The HP Omen versus the Lenovo Legion 7. I've been waiting to do this review for quite a long time. I'm super stoked it's finally here. We have the Ryzen 7 5800H in both laptops. We have the RTX 3060 GPU in both laptops and each come with 16 gigs of RAM. So this is the exact perfect setup for comparing these two laptops. Now, we're gonna look at some benchmark specs here in just a few minutes, but first and foremost, let's get into the usability and build quality of these laptops. The Lenovo Legion 7 stands out a little bit more in build quality as it has an aluminum top cover, aluminum keyboard deck, aluminum side panels, plastic vents here, and then an aluminum bottom cover. Whereas the HP Omen has an aluminum keyboard deck, plastic top cover, aluminum side covers, and side panels, and a plastic bottom cover. Now, one of the things that really stands out to me when reviewing laptops, as far as build quality, is we'll do a few tests here. First and foremost, can you open and close the screen with one hand? Yep, no problem there. All right, and then we check out the screen flex. I see quite a bit of screen flex on the HP Omen, and then the Legion 7 less screen flex on the Legion 7. This one has a much like bigger flexy bow to it. This one's a, a quite a bit tighter. You can make it flex, but it's quite a bit tighter. And then of course, down at the bottom here, um, the Legion 7 has a more solid screen. Maybe compliments of that aluminum top cover. Now, checking out the keyboard deck on each of these laptops, um, we have a numpad on the Legion 7, whereas we do not have a numpad on the HP Omen. Both keyboards are quiet and snappy. Um, the HP Omen keyboard has a little bit longer key press on it than the Legion 7. And you're gonna see that the Legion 7 has a slightly longer trackpad, barely longer, but you can see compared to the uh, HP Omen. The Legion 7's a little more clicky and the HP Omen's a little softer, a little bit quieter. So I'm gonna to lean towards the keyboard experience, giving my vote here to the HP Omen. And for the build quality award, I'm gonna say with that more all aluminum chassis, I'm gonna to lean towards the Lenovo Legion 7. If you're curious about the exact availability and price of these two models, you can head down in the description below and click one of those links. Keep in mind, I'll also link the 15 inch version of the Lenovo Legion. So that way, if you want like a total head to head comparison as far as size is concerned, you can check that out as well. So this is the 16 inch model I have here. If you do make a purchase through any of those links, I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. That's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Now, as far as the audio experience is concerned for these two laptops, go ahead and give it a listen. All right, the next thing we wanna take a look at is the build quality around the edges. The HP Omen has some good, strong, aggressive edges. Nothing too sharp or pokey. Um, there's a few spots where I feel like I wish the bottom cover would not be so deeply set into the side panels because it creates a few little edge snags, but overall it's well put together. It's a good assembly. Moving on to the Lenovo Legion 7, the edges are a little bit softer, which makes for a more comfortable experience when you're kind of grabbing your laptop and putting your hands around it. Um, but again, it kind of sets in a little deeper than I would prefer it to. So that's one thing that there are some sharp edges where the bottom cover meets the side panels, but overall the more soft edges we're gonna go to the Lenovo Legion, the more aggressive edges on the top cover are going to go to the HP Omen. Now, one thing that the Lenovo Legion does that the HP Omen does not is the super fancy lighting. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, wow. It's so fancy. So that is not on the HP Omen. So that's a, a pretty big standout feature for a lot of people. It's a lot of fun to have that bright color on the laptop. It might not be something that you think is absolutely necessary, but it definitely stands out and makes this laptop really, really cool. Color accuracy on these laptops is good. They both have a high sRGB and a pretty solid Adobe RGB and DCI P3.
The ports are one area that I'm gonna give my vote to the HP Omen simply for the SD card slot. That extra addition for creators is very, very handy. The Lenovo Legion comes with the USB Type-C and a headphone jack, whereas the HP Omen on this side comes with the SD card slot, the headphone jack, HDMI, USB type A, and network port. Along the back is where most of the ports are seen on the Lenovo Legion. We see three more USB type A's, a power port, HDMI, USB type C, and a network jack. And on the other side, we have a manual webcam shutoff switch and a USB type C. On the HP Omen on the other side, we have the mini display port, USB type C, and two USB type A's. While we're taking a look at the build quality, let's check out the ventilation. It would appear that the HP Omen has better ventilation with the larger, less tight knit mesh compared to the Lenovo Legion 7. You have vents along the back cover, which you have on the HP Omen as well, but you have vents on both side panels for the Legion 7 and only one side panel for the HP Omen. But when push comes to shove, the Lenovo Legion handles the thermals better. We saw by more than 10 degrees Celsius during the 4K export, the Lenovo Legion stood out as far as thermal control. It was also slightly quieter compared to the HP Omen. You can see the fan noise and thermals up on the screen here. Regarding battery life, they're both good, but not great. The battery life is productivity tasks, streaming video, Photoshop benchmark on Puget Systems run on repeat, and a 4K playback run on loop until the battery goes dead. And these were all done at half screen brightness. Woo, that even lights up right there. Isn't that fancy? Look at that. That's so fun and fancy. My goodness, they think of everything these days, don't they? Regarding the performance, let's jump into the simulated benchmarks, which would be Cinebench R20, R23, Geekbench Single Core, and Multi-Core. Moving on to 3D modeling in Autodesk 3ds Max, Autodesk Maya, PTC Creo, and SolidWorks, you can see the HP Omen winning out in 3ds Max, but the Lenovo Legion 7 taking the prize for the other three. interested in a killer After Effects laptop, both laptops are suitable with the Lenovo Legion 7 edging out the HP Omen barely on both tests. From 1080p to 6K video editing, you can see both laps are really neck and neck as far as the export times are concerned. And for playback, again, both laptops are neck and neck for playback as well from 4K all the way up to 6K. Both will handle 1080p without any problems. Looking towards the Photoshop benchmark, the better laptop is going to be the HP Omen, edging out the Lenovo Legion 7 by over 40 points. However, if you're considering upgrading, both laptops equally increase in performance inside of Photoshop, and you can see the Lenovo Legion 7 actually edging out the HP Omen if you boost them both up to 64 gigs of RAM. Overall, both laptops handle the Ryzen 7 processor and the RTX 3060 graphics very well. If I had to pick a laptop based on the overall experience and performance because of the thermal temperatures, I'm gonna lean towards the Lenovo Legion 7. But the HP Omen is still a fantastic pick. And if you like it, it's still a great buy. Just know that the thermals are gonna be a little bit hotter than the Lenovo Legion 7. Links if you're ready to make a purchase, likes if this video has brought you some value, and subs if you don't miss out on the future uploads. I'll see you here in the next episode.